Okay, yo guys, before the video starts, I'm just gonna do a quick little random video, which you probably weren't expecting, where I'm basically going to show you guys how to fix the YouTube sub box glitch, because recently my videos have not been sent out to every single one of my subscribers, which is kind of pissing me off, so I decided to show you guys a way which you can actually fix this error, and just get notified whenever I upload, so you can always come and like the video, comment, whatever you want to do first. So yeah, I guess you can call this like a hand reveal, and before you even say that I cut myself, this is what my cat does, okay? This is not abuse. This is not self-harm, this is literally what my cat does to me. Okay, so all you need to do to fix this error is grab your hand and magically swerve it around and then you press the bell button. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that was, but all you need to do is press this bell button right here. Oh my god, turn grey already. Oh my god. Okay, once it turns grey like that with little lines around it, you're basically set. And notifications will be turned on for my channel, so you guys can just come to my videos. As soon as you want and earlier as you want. Also wanted to thank you guys. I got a crap ton of likes. I only asked for, believe it or not, 1,000 likes in one hour. And I believe I got like 4,000 likes. So thank you guys so much for that. So let's set a like goal right now for this very video. So go down on this video, leave a like. And let's just say for every like, one martyr will actually die. So one like on this video will kill a martyr. And, and obviously guys don't want to play against martyrs all the time. So yeah, make sure to leave a like and the martyr players will just slowly decrease day by day. And you won't have to suffer by playing them anymore. And you also like the video because I'm also doing a giveaway on this very video with another Clash Royale YouTuber, which I will talk about in just a minute in the video. But yeah, this is basically the end of the short little IRL, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, just watch the video now. Peace. Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video on the channel and like I said in that short little clip there make sure to turn my notifications and leave a like on this video like I said one like equals one martyr dies so this is like a pretty funny like kind of challenge for you guys and also yesterday I set a huge target of 1000 likes in one hour which we managed to absolutely obliterate so let's see if we can actually get 3000 likes in three hours and if we manage to do this, I will just love you guys so much. This will just prove to me that my subscribers are the best and the most loyal subscribers ever. So let's see if we could all just smash this target together. Go down there, like the video, and let's just see what we are made of. And the final thing before I get into the video, I'm hosting a brand new Clash Royale $125 gem giveaway for Clash Royale, obviously. And to enter in, all you have to do is like this video, which is one of the things that I told you guys to do before. So by liking, you're basically entering yourself into the giveaway. And then all you need to do after you like the video, go down in the description and basically there will be a link at the top of the description which will be labeled giveaway and it will say enter here all you need to do is go to that link follow the steps and you'll be entered it's as simple as that guys so finally with all of that stuff out of the way hopefully you guys are enjoying your day and I am also and for today's video what we'll be doing is actually going over ways that you can actually predict when you will get to legendary from a free chest B silver chest C gold chest now this is a pretty simple method to find out and a lot of people don't know about this surprisingly because some people just obviously get legendaries out of the blue from random chests it can vary from free chest silver chest gold chest etc but now I'll be showing you guys how you guys will actually know for yourself for a fact when you'll predict to get a legendary from one of these chests so you're on the Clash Royale loading screen right now, let's say that this is your account, this is what you should do. So you click on your arena, your current arena in the center of the page here, mine's being the jungle arena, so you click on here. Once you see the screen, you just see all the arenas, and under each arena you can see a little I button right here, it says chest and donation info. And for your current arena, or whatever arena you want to find out when you can get a legendary in a chest, all you need to do is click this little info button, and all of this information about all of these random chests will come up. So it says battle rewards for free chest, silver chest, gold chest, and crown chest now we will be looking at these four chests at the top here so let's start with the free chest and this is for the jungle arena but here for the free chest we have 77 gold to 88 gold so this is in the jungle arena you're guaranteed to get from that gold to the other amount of gold which it says and it says you're guaranteed at least 11 cards and it says contains at least one rare card so this is already giving us a clue about when you can get legendaries because as you know when you open chests if you get a certain amount of epics and say a super magical chest or a magical chest if you get like three epics in a magical chest you will know that the rest could be a legendary card for all you know. But what you need to make sure is that the card that it says contains at least of has been appeared at least once in this chest. So if I open up a free chest and I get like three commons, gold, whatever, and it only says one card left to go, it's basically not going to be a legendary card. But however, if you did already get a rare card, the next card, if you still have one to go in the free chest, could be a legendary card. So you know that little number when you open up a chest and it says a little number in a little square kind of card box? I will show you guys on the screen right now so you're not confused. So that number there depends. So if it says like a number 4 in the free chest, which includes your gold, commons, rares, that's only 3. So if there says 4, you're basically going to get an extra card at the end. You'll probably notice this and you'll be like, why am I getting 
so many cards out of this chest and then from there on you'll basically predict if you get an epic card which sometimes does happen or you can even get a legendary. So the same goes with the silver chest but this one's a little bit different. The free chest actually gives you more gold than the silver chest for some reason but yeah it says it doesn't even contain at least anything so you can actually get a legendary chest completely random with the silver one. It says it contains 11 cards so as long as you're actually getting 11 cards you could actually get a legendary just count your cards out who knows but you can actually pull some insane luck from these silver chests so like i said just count the cards if you get a bunch of commons and maybe even a rare and you've still got some cards to go you're basically guaranteed an epic or a legendary so yeah that's how you predict it from the silver chest and the free chest and now let's move on to the golden chest the golden chest is a little bit more hard to understand now because it says a lot more cards and it says at least three rares so it's kind of harder to keep track but yeah you get the gold you get the 35 cards which is kind of a lot of of cards and it says contains at least three rare so once you see these three rare cards pop up in your gold chest you're basically then looking for comments if you get those comments out of the way straight away you are set on the road for a legendary card in your golden chest so yeah just count your rares and you're basically set now from my experience I only got to legendary before I think in a crown chest and also a free chest and the way I got it in a free chest I actually predicted it it was the log it was my first ever legendary and how I predicted it was I counted the amount of cards because I always do it just in case and why I do it is just to get a screenshot in case I skip it too fast or just to record it because I know I'm going to get one so and with this method you will easily predict when you will get one and now moving on to the last chest which is going to be the crown chest this is a slightly upgraded gold chest so yeah this one contains 490 gold to 560 gold which doesn't really affect the legendary card rate it contains 70 cards in the jungle review, which is kind of a lot and it contains at least seven rares so as always using this method Count the commons, obviously you'll get a lot of commons in this chest as well, and just count your rare cards, and if you get 7 out of the way with a lot of commons, maybe you'll even get an epic, so if you just count those rare cards, and if you still have one more card left in the chest at the very end, it might as well be a legendary card. And that is basically the method to predict any legendary card from any chest, any of these chests, and I'm pretty sure you guys already know for the magical chest, the giant chest, and the super magical chest, however for the giant chest it's a lot more rare to get a legendary card, but however you do get 28 rares so count those also for the super magical you just need 21 epics and 126 rare cards which is kind of hard to count but i'm pretty sure as long as you get 21 epic and you count those you probably have already passed the rare cards by that pretty high chance of actually getting a legendary from a super magical chest and for the magical just count 21 rares and three epics and you will get a legendary card simple as that so yeah guys that's basically the method that you use to predict whether you can get a legendary card from a free chest silver chest gold chest and crown chest so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you don't remember to drop a fat like on this video as it helps me out a ton and also shows your appreciation make sure to enter the clash royale gem giveaway in the description below and i will see you all in the next video peace